There's no backstabbing going on here. There's no backstabbing Tank going Davis on versus here. Ryan no Garcia. The fight was not rigged. Hit that thumbs up. This is Raw Status TV. The Raw Status IG. One Raw Status Twitter. So I've been hearing this a lot on social media that the fight was rigged, that Garcia took a dive, that it didn't look like he hit him that hard. And I want to touch on a few things here. You'll hear boxers say it's not necessarily how hard you throw the punch, but it's how quick and where you land the punch. Boxers don't throw punches. They throw the right punches. So Tank's devastating body shot delivered to Ryan Garcia's liver is why the TKO stoppage may have looked unreal to some people. But this is why. It's a liver shot as pictured there. You can actually see Tank looking at the spot on where he wants to land that shot. So on the basic physiology and anatomy side of life, a liver shot causes a delayed reaction for several reasons. The liver sits in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. The liver sits behind the rib cage. It is behind the diaphragm. It is designed that way for the ribs to protect the liver, but in a fight, getting hit, getting impacted in that area in any way can be extremely problematic. Why? Because of the delayed reaction. Why is there a delayed reaction? Because of something called the vagus nerve. It's called the vagus nerve because vagus means to wander. The vagus nerves, the, the vagus nerve wanders through many different locations in your body. It is part of what's called the autonomic nerve system. Autonomic means automatic. Why is it called automatic? Because when it is impacted, an automatic signal of shock is sent through your body. Because the vagus nerve wanders so far, travels so far through the body, it takes more amount of time for the signals to be sent through the nervous system and for you to feel the pain. This is why Ryan Garcia looked like he was okay at first. This is why he looked like he was able to continue. And then all of a sudden, no dice. He couldn't go no mo, no mas. You see for a few seconds, he kind of backed up, looked like he was still able to continue. And then he dropped and he fell because that nerve signal went through his system. It causes a nauseating, sinking, horrible feeling in your stomach which caused him to drop down to one knee. Surgical precision striking by Tank Gravanta Davis. And stranger things have happened in boxing, but I don't think that this fight was rigged. I think Garcia, if you look at the way that he reacted, that was a classic liver shot. And the reason why liver shots, again, are so dangerous because you cannot quickly reverse its effect. You can't, quote, suck it up. You can't fight through the pain. The autonomic nervous system, you automatically shut down. The liver is a vital organ your body wants to protect you. This is why Garcia took a few steps back. It allows you to move for a few moments. You can bounce up and down, but then, like running into a brick wall, bam. And again, that delay is because of the size of the vagus nerve and the signals that travel through the body. So Ryan Garcia, humble in defeat. This is his Twitter post. Nothing like fighting one of the best. Hopefully one day we can run it back. And why not run it back when you made yourself a couple of million dollars? I think Gravante Davis got five million guaranteed and Garcia got about 2.5. But the all the numbers aren't in yet, I don't believe yet. Somebody fill me in if I'm wrong. Um, I'm going to read this. Garcia. I couldn't breathe, said Garcia, who was 24 years old. I was going to get back up, but I just couldn't get up. He just caught me with a good shot that he did. I don't want to make no excuses in here, and I just couldn't recover. He, meaning Tate Davis, caught me with a good body shot, snuck under me, and caught me good. So again, that liver shot pretty much stopped him. And again, like they say, if you ever get in a bar brawl or a street fight with a boxer, that's the wrong person because they don't just throw punches. They throw the right 
punch. Big congratulations to champion Gravanta Tank Davis out of Baltimore, Maryland. Love that city. Been there a few times. A lot of trash talking leading up to this fight in the months that led up to this fight. Good to see Gravanta Davis prove himself in the ring. Will there be another fight? Should there be an another fight? I don't know. I don't think so. But this fight, in my opinion, certainly was not rigged. Now, stranger things have happened in boxing. I remember the Pernell Whitaker De La Hoya fight. Speaking of De La Hoya, who he was Ryan Garcia's trainer. And you're watching the broadcast and they say, Oscar De La Hoya was stopped the same way by Bernard Hopkins. And I'm sitting here thinking, if Ryan Garcia, if you're being trained by Oscar De La Hoya, you need to find a new team. This is Ross Status TV. Hit that thumbs up.